Today we're going to talk to you about the neuroscience of a sale, trauma-informed sales. What am I talking about? Everybody has a trauma narrative. Where are my people at in your 40s and 50s? We still got it. You don't have to be 20-something to 30-something. That's right. That's right. So your senses show up 10 seconds before you do. Like, let me, you got to have a clear strategy, structure, and system. You got to have your Fab Five, your squad, your battle plan going in. That's what I did. That's what I did. Everything went to hell. God humbled me and brought me to FFL. And what I said is said, okay, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to do the best I got. And I'm going to bring compassion to this business and no sleaziness. It's going to be real. We're going to be authentic. So what did I do? I got in my car back in the day when you got in your car. Three years ago in April, 38 families just said, we're going to kick it. We're going to do this. So when I get into the home or when I see people, immediately you establish yourself with compassion. And I'll go, it goes a little bit like this. John, this is Adam. I see you have Linda listed as your beneficiary. Is that correct? Yes. And your birthday is 1 1 1952? Yes. Now I'm talking to my parents. Old school, honor. You're doing final expense term, IUL. And then I go right into it. I go to verify to validate who I am. I want you to feel safe and comfortable. There's a lot of scammers out there. Here is my texted driver's license and my state insurance license so you can look me up on the New Jersey State Department of Insurance and verify I am Adam Marquis in good standing. And they go, oh, they let their guard down. You're reducing their shame. Everybody carries it every day. All the thoughts, we learned about all that. So trade all that polish and performance, like Dutch Sheet says, for authentic communication. Be relational. And I will say, because I'm back from the Northeast, where I work with my people like in New Jersey, when you aren't there and going in there, it's amazing how much you redeem your story and make meaning out of pain. You make meaning out of pain in this work. You don't believe me? Get in front of enough people. That's all this is. And you have a clear interview. It's not one way. Immediately I'll establish myself and go, yeah, man, I'm from the back, I'm from the Northeast too, from New York. Oh, you know, from New Jersey. Okay, yeah, been there too. Yeah, what's, you know, and I understand honor and respect. And you talk to seniors, they like that. And you pause and you listen for me. So, be indomitable. Be relentless. And so for me, I go right to, I go right to the fact that I care about them and they know it. Be different be the difference maker by doing that. So all this polish and performance is bullshit. Be you. That's what I'm saying. And, say be, and just be relentless. So when I called them up again, I said, what I gotta do? I reported in. <laughs> it's like a battle plan. I am going to do this. I'm not gonna just step in a little bit. I am going to do it. Anybody relate to that? If, you're, if your back isn't up against the wall, I don't know why you're here. That's where I was. And I immediately, when people went out, you talk to them for five minutes, speak back to them what you did to do that, and they're gonna, you're, that's honor. Honor ain't dead here. It ain't dead with me. So what are we talking about? So people, when you get in fear, everyone gets shocked with fear when you talk with your, your prospect, right? Blood flow dis diminishes, they go offline in their brain, right? or the anger, resentment. I just want to quote. I said, I'm not here to quote you, I'm here to get you approved. I said, here's the parallel. You ever bought a home, sir? Yes, because you do mortgage protection. 884 families in 2022 out of my car, I lived in it. And I said, okay. I said, you go to a lender, they give you a pre-approval level, right? You say you could take it or leave it, right? I said, there's nothing to think about unless you get approved. Brad Allen taught me that. I took an amalgamation of Brad Allen, Shadi, Steve Giordano, Brian Rollins, and others, you should rapidly assimilate, assimilate. And you don't want to get knocked around. Get knocked around. Like we heard, we heard yesterday, fail forward, fail often, but get up and do it, okay? When I get up in the morning to get my brain right, because I'm gonna be going in, I send the angel host out. 
this is what I do. And I go, Lord, send them out. Give me people that I'm going to enjoy, get them approved, that they want to keep it. My placement, my persistency is there, and I'm going to have a good time while I'm doing it. And that's exactly what it's about. Anybody that knows me knows that. So you're going to trade polish and performance. Look, look to the left and say, he's talking about you. Look to your person to the left and say, he's talking about you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And put that right away. And come, and come show up ready to do this. All right. There are strivers. That was me. Arrivers, survivors, and thrivers. Which one do you want to be? The only way you're going to get that is why I do the Mountaineers. It's because you've got to basically be willing to climb the mountain you don't want to climb. And it's real lonely when you're looking seven feet in front of you every day to get to what you've got to get done. So for me, you honor the people that, that got you to where you are. That's why I bring it up here. It ain't glib. It ain't sexy. It's just work. And the idea is, I have my goals. I'm going to hit a minimum every month, doesn't matter. And so be consistent, OK? There are times you wake up, you're dog tired. Anyone here on the road a lot? Ooh, yeah. Or, or you're going to telesales all day long, right? You've got to have a little moment where you can have a reprieve and connect. Dave Anderson talks about that. It's all about your brain health and connection and staying grounded so that you can do that because you're regulating the people that you come in contact with. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You cannot transmit something you do not have. It is a spiritual principles, principles above personality. Where's my recovery community at? Amen? Just a few, y'all. All right, all right. But what really matters is when nobody's watching and character counts. For me, I have my trusted people especially as men, because Christ-likeness and manhood are synonymous for me. Ooh, yeah. What about that? What about that with people, right? And the old school likes that, most of them. I don't care, right? Everybody's got a trauma narrative. Everybody, they're carrying around shame. It's about shame reduction and guilt reduction and loving on them when it's difficult. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You'd have had somebody cry in front of you, a prospect? You ever get teared up? You ever get that, that moved in the heart? And the whole conversation shifts because trauma is sensory. It is not cognitive. And you've got it. And when you don't think you do, you do. And we're just trying to make meaning out of our stories. And you will. So for me, I'm old school. What I do, and I suggest you do this, you find the people that are winning, you get around them, and you stay around them because you become who you hang around with. That is scriptural. It is dead true, right? And the people that went and are not here today and all that other stuff, they keep coming back, right? And so when you get momentum, it's keeping momentum. So for me, it's not about what you think. It's about this is not, a tra this is not like, you know, a transactional situation. It's transformative. If you think of it in that way, it's an interview. It's the value stream. Right? Balance report and rapport with your prospect. You won't get them all. But you know what? It's about how many policies you can place in that, in that, play, in that one home. Listen to me. Multi-policy placement. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Your persistency and your placement goes up. Everything we do comes down to policy placement. Everything. So when you care enough to love on them, they'll love on you back. And if you stay there and you just regulate them, you're going to get more sales. Thank you very much.